Uh, setting up the Halloween display, uh, I've got my vines over here and I set up the perimeter fence. Uh, got it up to here. I will bring it down alongside here so that we can keep the sidewalk, you know, as a useful sidewalk. But I just want to lay out the basic space. Probably going to have to move these out of here, but that's not a horrible thing to do. It's most everything out. I gotta figure out how to put this together again. It's been a while. Alright, so this is the basic setup. Got the waving skeleton over there. It's not supposed to be waving, but his arm broke off, so now he waves. And I've got the graveyard set up with all the creepy vines. A few of the creepy vines starting to exude from the from the cemetery. Uh, see if it's like that. I'm gonna put some lights in and that should end up looking pretty cool. I think I'm gonna put some skeletons out too. All right, I've got most everything set up uh, as far as props go. Uh, still trying to work on some of them. The skeleton over here is uh, not doing too well. I have a bunch of lighting to do but I'm going to take a break because I'm a little tired. So I have the uh, Halloween yard display up finally. Uh, it's taken a few days to get it to this point. Um, I think four, you know, four segments of time I spent on this. Um, everything is sort of in place, more or less it's staged. You know, it's, not exactly anything spectacular, but it is kind of fun with the uh, <laughs> creepy vines. Uh, they're the ones that I tore off the house. Uh, of course, that is from you know, Home Depot a few years ago. I really kind of like the design. So it's one of the few Home Depot things that I really like. It's like you know they, they have the 12-foot skeleton, and that's really cool and everything. But I, where would I put it? I mean, even all of this is still kind of hard to store. Uh, beware of the dead sign that has been around for a very long time. Uh, it's seen its better days. It's already been reposted once. Little skeleton dude has a Christmas laser light show sitting down there. And when it comes up, it just sort of adds this weird sparkly effect. This red and green sparkly effect that's kind of cool. It's, you know, it doesn't really look like anything other than there's some movement. Uh, I've also got these lights, which I really kind of like. I've had these for a while. Um, I've also got some other ones that are pretty much the same thing. But these are white. Uh, these are colored. So I have red, green, and blue ones. And I've got some white ones, but I've uh, tried to take the white ones and put... Um, pill bottles over them to give them some color. So these are the lights that I found quite a while ago and they're I think they were called jewelry lights. This one is white which is why I don't have it out. Uh, I've used all the color ones and I'm pretty much I don't need anymore. But it's a 1 watt LED uh, and these are these have nothing else in them but just the one watt LED that's wired to the plug. Whoops. And then they are lensed with this little doohickey. Uh, if I can get this back together. There we go. Now, I could put gels in here as well, but I don't have any gels hanging around. Um, they also have this little flexible mount that is able to uh, have these pose in quite a few different directions. They also mount through these small holes here. And what I do is I take pieces of wire like this. 
almost like little tent stakes. And I just put them through. So there's two of them here. And they stick in the ground just perfectly. I can also put a couple in the uh, mounting holes for the drivers as well. Um, I have not been able to find these again. Um, and I wish I could because I really like these with the colors. Now I have found other ones that have different systems. They have, you know, much, you know, they have a lot more electronics in them. They have, you know, maybe some, they have some resistors or they have current drivers, but they're really expensive. These were just a few bucks a piece. And the new ones are, I don't know, you know like 30, 50, 80 dollars for ones that I've seen. Uh, and I would like to find these in RGB that are separately controlled because I would like to do my own controller for them but for now I'm just going with the easy way and wiring these up. Now what I did find recently that wasn't very expensive were these. Um, these are recent, you know, they are actually RGB um, and they also have some intermediate colors. <laughs> they can be programmed too. They have um, this color fade thing that they can do. So they do have a little bit of programming in them. Uh, the downside is they are battery operated. And the infrared sensor in these is somewhere in this plastic thing. So I haven't been able to isolate them. Uh, I think what I'd like to do is I would like to modify these to be able to be plugged in and have an outside control that I can send to them so that I can change the colors individually on them as they go. But that's not going to happen this year. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen anytime soon at all. But anyway, these are, these are cool. I like these. They don't have as nice of a pattern coming out from them. It's more broad. But... You know, it is what it is. And these little lights make quite a difference on Halloween. I've also got this little hidden thing here. Uh, it doesn't light up or anything. I, I don't have anything hooked to it. But it's just a little spooky thing that you can catch if you walk by. It's nothing particular. And of course you can see some of the lighting and the cable runs. Uh, I got these splitters which turned out to be really nice because I was able to run two 12-volt trunk lines, one on either side, so that I could split all of the lighting off of those and just have those wires run back to where the power and everything is back there. Um, I think that's worked out really nice. I'm going to try and keep that for the future. I don't know if I'm going to use these in particular because they are a little bit of a pain. Um, there's probably better ways to do it, but at the same point, it's working for now. I don't know that it's going to make sense to uh, change it a whole lot for just the Halloween season. I would like to make it work waterproof and things like that. And here it is. In the night time. You can put a light on the sign. It's kind of fun. I think I need to do a little bit of adjusting. And then there's no light on that one. Did I totally forget a light? It's entirely possible.